Novak Djokovic versus Carlos Alcaraz is the final of Wimbledon for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Alcaraz entered the tournament as a number three seed and will take on the qualifier Lyell in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 7-6, 7-5, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on Vukic. And again, after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7-6, 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Tiafo, the number 29 seed, and a man that he'd played a five-set epic against two years ago at the US Open. And this was a battle. After dropping two of the first three sets, Alcaraz would fight back to win. 5-7, 6-2, 4-7, 6762. In the fourth round, he take on the 16th seed on Bear, a very capable grass court guy over the years. And after dropping the third set, Alcaraz would fight to avoid a fifth, 6 3, 6 4, 1, 6, 7, 5, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number 12 seed Paul, who had had some troubles with in the past. And after going down a set, Alcaraz would fight back to win 5 7 6 4 6 2 6 2 to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, Alcaraz would take on the number five seed Medvedev, who just beaten Sinner in five sets in the quarterfinals. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 6 7 6 3 6 4 6 4 to advance to a second consecutive Wimbledon final. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on the qualified Kripriva in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights 6 1 6 2 6 2. In the second round, he took on the wildcard Fernley. After dropping the third set, Djokovic would win in four 6 3 6 4 5 7 7 5. In the Third round, he'd take on Poprin, a man who had nearly played a five-setter against in Australia at the start of the year. And this is no different, with Poprin winning the first set and Djokovic fighting back to win 4 6 6 3 6 4 7 6 in his toughest match to date. In the fourth round, he'd take on Runa, the number 15 seed, who had just come back from two sets of love down in the previous round against Ellis. There's a no problem for Djokovic getting through in straights. 6 3 6 4 6 2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on number nine seed Demonor, who had been injured in the previous match and was unable to play in this quarterfinal, handing Djokovic the walkover. In the Semi-finals, Djokovic would take on Musetti, the number 25 seed who had taken out Fritz along the way. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 7-6, to advance to the final. These guys have played five times before, with Djokovic leading 3-2 in the head-to-head, -head, including winning their last two matches on the hard courts after that epic Wimbledon final. But of course, the last time they played on grass was last year's final, with Alcaraz winning that one in five sets. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive and also use the variety. Musetti and Runa along the way haven't really used that against Djokovic. Alcaraz is going to have to use that. We know he can use that. He did it against Medvedev but he's going to have to do that early and not give Djokovic that lead. Djokovic's going to win this one. Kind of going to win the first set, it feels, because if he does go down a set against Alcaraz and has to fight back against a confident, scary-looking Alcaraz, that could be difficult, especially if the knee does start to bother him. It hasn't bothered him yet, so we haven't seen him limping around or anything, so assuming that the knee's okay for the whole match, he's going to have to win that first set just to make sure. Love that we're getting a rematch. I had no, I did not think we we're going to get this match, but I could go with Alcaraz in five sets here. I just think that Alcaraz, at the end of this match, will lift the trophy again. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think's going to win?